Hi friends, welcome back. I have, <laughs> once again, the most ginormous bag to go through. And this is just one of the bags. The other one is smaller for what that's worth. <laughs> but we have a lot to go to. Okay, Ugh, this thing as much as I do. I'm gonna pop up a picture right here of my shopping trip. As you can see, my cart was absolutely piled high. My name is Maria. If this is your first time joining me, I'm so excited you're here. I have been doing some reselling content on my channel, but I am also traditionally just like a makeup skincare YouTuber. So if you are interested in that, you can see a slew of videos on my channel. But if you're interested in reselling, I'm starting to pop these videos here and there too. So we have a huge entire haul to go through today. I'm going to take you through each and every one of the items I snagged and tell you what I hoped to list them for. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so if you watched my, I think my most recent reselling video, I will pop it up on the screen here. It was a massive shoe haul from this same trip. So I've already done all the shoes. Watch that video if you want to, and all of those shoes are listed. I might have everything in these bags listed by the time that I post this video, and I might not. So if you're interested in snagging anything or just wanting to know what I end up listing things for, you can certainly check out my Poshmark closet and eBay store it down below in the description box. And if there's anything you like really want to snag that you can't find, hit me up on either Instagram, it's at Marina Cole Beauty, or down in the comment section and I will make sure to get that item listed for you. So this is one of my favorite thrift stores to go to. It is a local thrift store. Um, I do shop at Goodwills, however, they are so overpriced and they're so manicured, like they pull the good stuff out sometimes that I love just going to local thrift stores and this one supports a couple really good charities, so I like to shop there. But they always have discount tags and my Goodwill does not. They do not discount their colors on any day of the week. This store normally does, and I was shopping on Labor Day. Yes, Labor Day. So they had four tags that were 50% off. I think the only ones that were not were white and black, and I don't even think I saw any black ones in the store. And they are just reasonable, reasonably priced in general. My business model is built on mostly volume. I like to sell things between that $20 to $35 range. Obviously, if I could find good things higher than that, that's spectacular, and I like selling those items. I've had some really good sales. However, since I'm doing this as a part-time reseller, I have two full-time children, a full-time husband, a full-time job, and a full-time cat. I have to go with what I have, and that works for me. So run your business the way that works for you, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Okay, I'm getting off my soapbox and show you some clothes now. Um, so this is first and foremost a piece from Lucky Brand. I have a lot of luck selling Lucky Brand. Just in my own personal experience I have almost 100% sell through rate with Lucky. Um, especially these really cute printed like tops. This is one of the prettiest ones that I have found. I love the pattern on this. I actually this is a size small and I wore this myself once I like to do that actually this top right here is from sanctuary it is from another recent haul and so I'm going to wear it once or twice I wore it to work today and then I will get it spruced up and listed I like to do that it supplements the items in my own personal closet I like to I really like fashion so I like to rotate things and not get stuck wearing the same things every single time I think this is actually another oh that's why the tag is off that one um, so this was $4.98 green tag, so it was 50% off. Kind of just presume everything in this haul is 50% off unless I say otherwise. Um, but this is a slightly newer Lucky Brand tag in a size medium. Another really pretty um, print. This is in this like goldenrod color, which of the yellows is one of my favorite. This feels really nice too. Yeah, this is a cotton and modal blend, so it's really soft. I like the smocking at the top. I have found that Lucky Brand fabrics um, that have like modal and viscose and cotton seem to do really well as well. So I tend to look for those. Okay, next is a Zara piece. This was on sale for $1.50, and I really, really like this one. This is a size small. I'm probably gonna pull this out to wear to work one day too. I just gotta find something to wear under it because it's this really pretty sheer, um, blouse with kind of this like dolman batwing style sleeve. It's got some frillies coming off, but they're coming from the inside. So I can just snip those. It's not the actual outer fabric. 
Zara is another one that a lot of resellers tend to skip, but I like to pick up when I can get it at a good price point because it does sell for me. And this is a nice, pretty, you know, fall color. All right, here we go. Another brand that a lot of people skip, but when I can get it for $2, I absolutely will. This is a Land's End No Iron Supima um, plus size blouse. Again, I really liked the print. It's perfectly in season if I can get it listed quickly. Um, just kind of buttoned down. And with the no iron, who wants to iron? Does anyone still iron? I mean, I, I'm sure people iron. <laughs> I literally, to wear this shirt last night, had one of those like crease release sprays that I was like spraying on it and then hung it up and it doesn't look too bad, right? And with it being Sapima cotton of the cotton, Sapima cotton is one of the highest cottons. So I hope this will do well. I think, I think that it will. I've had pretty good luck selling lands and if I can get it priced, you know, right. This one I was very excited about. I mostly sell women's clothing and shoes, but I do love picking up men's clothing. I will when I find it. And this was kind of like thrown off to the side and I absolutely was going to grab it, especially for this price, $5, so $2.50. This is a Cabela's Deerskin Soft Chamois. I think that's, is that how you say the word? I think of like the Sham Wow guy from like the fair or the like as seen on TVs. Anybody else? Like the orange little cloths that you wash your, I don't know. We got one at like the state fair when I was like in elementary school and I still think of that. Anyway, this is a 3XL tall. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get it in frame here. I am backed up against the corner of my little room, but it is so soft. I'll probably list it as a shacket, like a shirt jacket, because you could wear it either way because it is so thick. Um, but great, great brand, great size, great for the season. That checks all the boxes for me to grab, and it was a great price. And I don't know why I was just sitting there. I was, I thought somebody like... Maybe there was something wrong with it, so I checked it over really well, and it is immaculate. All right, next we have, let me see here. This is a Kenneth Cole piece. Now, Kenneth Cole is one that I will usually skip. However, this is Kenneth Cole, New York, so that is the main label. It's not like one of the diffusion lines that you can often get at like TJ Maxx or places like this. And again, great for the season, this like button down popover chambray shirt. It's a hundred percent cotton. I wish this was my size. I would wear it like apple picking. Um, but I don't know. I, I think for $2, I can make some profit there. I like selling things in chambray fabric. I think they sell really well. Oh my gosh. I forgot about this one. I, it, I bought these a few weeks ago and I haven't opened this bag. This is Steve Madden. Normally I would say don't buy clothes made by a shoe brand like Steve Madden. I love selling his shoes, but this, I, I, I even paid up for this. This is a $15 item, so I paid $7.50, but it is new with tags, 100% acrylic, so nothing absolutely special, but this is a hooded knit poncho. Here's the hood. Look how pretty that is, like the crochet there. It says, is that crochet? I get my knits all mixed up. Sorry, mom. I mean, I can knit and I can crochet, so I should be able to recognize them. But look how pretty this poncho is. I know it's hard to see. So I have hopes for this. I think I was planning to list this in like the $30 to $40 range. So when I looked at $7, plus I averaged my cost of goods for this trip and each item was somewhere around like $350, I think. Um, so I had a lot of cheap items. So even getting, you know, a $750 item, the average cost for this for me and my bookkeeping will be $350. I really, really like that. And if all else fails, I'll just keep it. I am happy that's new with tags, although I would have loved to maybe wear it once or twice, take some cute fall pictures, but that's okay. Okay, here's another one that I wouldn't necessarily pick up all the time, but it is new with tags and it is, it is his main kind of brand. This is Christian Siriano, New York. It's another one that makes like a for Target line. I, I wouldn't necessarily pick that up myself. However, his main New York line, Christian Siriano started out on, um, not Top Chef. 
Project Runway. I used to love that show. So I really liked him and I haven't picked up anything. But this is a really pretty like aztec -y mock neck sweater. It is super soft and it is new with tags. Um, so this does have a TJ Maxx tag and even at TJ Maxx, this was $30. Um, but I don't know. I, I'm going to take the TJ Maxx tag off and leave the main manufacturer tag on, of course. Another one that is my size, but <laughs> this is an extra small. I think the poncho was just a one size fits all, but this is an extra small and it is so cozy comfy. I better speed this up. All right, next we have another just bread and butter brand that I pick up when I can get it low enough. So this was $3, so this ended up being $1.50. I like grabbing these lower end items to bring down my average cost of goods because they will sell. This is Eddie Bauer in a size extra, extra large. That was another reason Eddie Bauer in the larger sizes does pretty well. And look at this pretty like embroidery here at the top. I love it with the like ladder stitching going around the front. These are all keywords that I will try to use. It is sleeveless, so that's tough, but it still kind of looks fall to me. And you could layer this, put on a cute like jean jacket um, or anything with that. Next, I hope, I, I looked these up. I feel like I've seen that these are a thing and I hope they are. This is Bob Mackie wearable art um, and it was 100% silk. So that helped me decide to get it for $2. And it's like an animal print, which always does well. So um, I think the Bob Mackie wearable art stuff is sought after, plus it being silk with a really pretty print and it being good for the season. I absolutely was going to get it. It's got another like dolman type sleeve. And I found a couple of these actually right in a row. So someone must have donated them together. This one was also $2.50. Another Bob Mackie wearable art, 100% silk. And this one is my favorite. I love this like Asian style. I, I feel like there's a name for this but I can't remember what it is to look it up. So someone help me, culture me please. This is so pretty. Look at the buttons, um, how they close right there. Same with all the way down the front. I'm obsessed with this. It's got like structured shoulders, shoulder pads, which are totally in. And I, I love that. This is a size medium. What was this one? I don't remember if I said. This is also a size medium. So yeah, most definitely donated by the same person. I feel like I might have more, one more or maybe one was damaged so I didn't pick it up. Um, okay, this was a great find. This is another one that I kind of want to keep. But I have to be careful, I can't keep everything. So maybe I'll just wear it once. Um, this is Sundance, which is Robert Redford's brand in a size small and it was 250 also. But oh, love this pretty sweater. Look at the pretty knit down the side. Perfect for the season and is one of my two favorite colors. Yes, I like pink and purple. I'm a tomboy, which you can't necessarily tell from my channel because I do beauty and makeup, but I am a huge tomboy and I like pink and purple though. So keep you on your toes. So really, really pretty. This was a cute one. I, I spent so long in this store. My poor husband was home with the kiddos and I had looked over the whole story. I could have filled like four carts with stuff, but I was trying to be selective. And then I was like in line, but the line was so long that I was shopping while I was in line because I had to go through more areas. And the like little girls area was the last one I went through. I saw this hanging out. Um, this is Baker by Ted Baker. So it is a diffusion line, but Ted Baker's a really great friend. I've only found Ted Baker one, once before. Um, and it sold, I think for like $140, a really pretty dress. I loved it. And so when I found Ted Baker again, I had to pick it up, especially since this only ended up being a, wait, white was the one tag that was on sale. So I paid $3 for this. It's so pretty. It, it's kind of out of season, so it might not sell to like the fall, but I love it. It's got flowers and it's got, um, hummingbirds. No, those are not hummingbirds. Dang it, I should know this. Again, mom, I'm sorry. My mom knows all the birds. I feel like that's a plumeria flower. Maybe. Somebody fact check me. But what I really liked that I think will help the resell is that it says Baker on it. Anytime you have a designer brand that you can 
recognize just by looking at it, it's got the logoing on it, that helps increase it because when people pay for expensive stuff, they usually want people to know they're paying for expensive stuff. Um, so being able to see that baker right there, I think will increase its value. I think I'm planning to list it around like $30. I haven't input these into my inventory yet, and that's when I'll research the comps and decide my listing price. Um, sometimes I do that before I film hauls. I have not had a chance to do that yet with this. Okay, this is Uniqlo. I, again, this is another one that I hear resellers say, yes, pick up, don't pick up. I've had great luck. I've only sold a couple things and they've both sold. I have one, I think, but it's a small size and it's kind of a sweater. So hopefully it'll sell soon. One that hasn't sold yet, but this is a size medium. And I want to say this is linen. It feels more like 100% linen, which is probably, okay. It's a linen and cotton blend, 55% linen, 45% cotton and it is in a size medium. This would be another one that's super cute for like fall pictures. You could put like a little scarf around it to kind of um, like a dark, like amber color, or orange or red or something like that. Wear it with like some tall brown boots. Oh, I, could, I would love, love to style this. This one is so soft. Can you see the fuzzy that's supposed to be there? I don't know if that'll pick up on camera but I could tell immediately when I felt this on the rack that this is something, something good. And it just looked fancy. So this was $1.50. And look at this tag, it says day by, I, I'm sorry guys, Burger at Mickelson. And so looking at the other tag, this is Kid Mohair. So I think that means like a baby goat, an animal, a small animal of some sort. I'm sorry. Um, but it's, it's clearly something. It is a size small. I liked the mock neck. It's got mother of pearl buttons. You always want to include that in your listing. And look at the bottom. Look at the detailing there. So things like this, I, I'm hoping to list maybe between like 30 and 50. Um, we will see on that one. This is, um, I was excited. I found a couple cigarette Olsen that I ended up passing on. We'll see if that was a good decision. This was $2, um, but cigarette Olsen, I liked this because it was like a lag and look style. And this one was 100% linen, which is why I decided to pick it up. So this, I could probably list in that 30 to $50 range too, depending on comps. It is a fall color in this like burnt orange. It's got these, they look like bamboo kind of wood buttons. This is a size 1X, which is another great reason why I wanted to pick it up. It's got roll tab sleeves on the side. Okay. One brand that I love selling because it does sell consistently, it doesn't always sell incredibly fast, but it will always sell is Torrid. And this I've never seen. I don't know if this is an old tag or just a tag it wasn't used much, but this is a size one, so one X for Torrid sizing. Perfect for fall. And it's this really fun, like grungy style plaid flannel popover. Look at the sleeves. I'm sorry, not this. Look at the um, like wings, heart. It's very like biker kind of style is what I think of it as. It's also got roll tab sleeves on the side. Torrid, for something like this, I'll probably list around like 28 because then when I send out a 10% offer, it goes out as 25 and that's a nice round, round number. Okay, here's another men's piece. I did pay up. Um, this was $9.98, so I paid $5 for this one. But this is the North Face, and this feels like it was never worn. Like, before I put it in my bag, it still had the crease lines on it, so I'm pretty certain it was at least never washed. And I liked the just classic style of it, stripes. I feel like this is like what guys wear in the fall. I'm stereotyping. But this is a size large, I love it. It's super soft and it's North Face. So great bread and butter brand, 100% cotton. Okay, I did find another Bob Mackie piece. This one definitely is making me think these are all vintage. I'm gonna have to do some research on the tags to find out. 
But another another tag there, this is a size large. This one was $3 because white tag was on sale. But look, look at this graphic. How fun is that? It's like a mermaid just chilling on the beach with a little parasol umbrella. And then it's got that one on the back. These really fun graphic prints I've seen do well. I haven't that I can think of really sold any yet myself, but we are going to try that one out. I, is this another lucky? Oh no. This, I was overlooking at the books because I was looking at stuff to pick up for my daughter's birthday. She just had a birthday, happy birthday. And I found this like shoved in the book rack. So again, I was worried that somebody found something wrong with it, looked it over. It is beautiful. This is soft surroundings, size large. How pretty. I wish this was in my size. Oh my goodness. Look at the print, the bright colors. I cannot wait to photograph this. This is going to be so pretty to photograph. I love all the like mixed media graphic prints. It's got like elastic priest sleeves. It is soft surrounding. So a good um, bread and butter brand. It's 100% viscose too. So that's a fantastic material. I was really excited to find that. I guess somebody just didn't want it. Put it back. It was just waiting, waiting for me to find it. Okay. Here is a brand that I don't see much. It is Jules. I got this for 250. This is a size eight. I actually just found one kid's item that I have ready to list just it's, it's on my like should be listed in the next few days list but i like this pretty tunic style popover again more embroidery kind of this aztec geometric print i like the striping it feels like it's cotton all of these kind of soft surroundings torrid this one i'll probably list between that like 28 to 40 dollar range um 30 to 35 this is, oh, this is a cotton and linen blend, even better. Okay, I, I think I've got a bunch of like the tops and stuff, so I'm starting to grab out some pants. These are Current Elliot. I have not found Current Elliot jeans yet, so I don't know when I'm gonna list these. I don't know if these were intentionally paint spattered or if these were a DIY job, but if they were a DIY job, it looks cute. Like I would wear these, absolutely. I don't know if they're, my, I should have said the size. These are size 27-0. They were $5 because they weren't on sale, but we're gonna try out the paint spatter current Elliott jeans. Next, these look like men's. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh. These are right on trend for like the baggy, light wash, dad jeans. So these would be good for men or women. I think they are men's sizing though. LL Bean Double L Classic Fit. I hope these have a tag. Did I buy ones without the tag? Ugh, I keep telling myself to stop buying things that don't have sizes. All right, I think we found it. These are definitely vintage. Um, and the size I think has worn off. So I'm gonna have to just list these with the waist and the inseam measurement, but we, we will make those work. I think those will sell. Those were 350. All right, we found some Adriano Gold Goldschmied right there. These are the legging ankle, super skinny ankle. I keep hearing skinny is out, skinny is in. Just wear what you want to wear. I still like wearing skinny jeans, and I like wearing wide leg jeans. But these are super cute. Now, now I want to try them on. These were three fifty with the sale. They've got some distressing and manufactured whiskering. I like how the bottom is like a two-toned, if that would be a good word. What are you? Okay, we've got another Zara. P oh, these were two more that I found while I was shopping the checkout lane. Um, this is Zara size eight, super cute corduroy fall dress. Can you just imagine a little photo shoot of a little beautiful precious girl like playing in the leaves in this or something but wait it gets better i found two so now i'm imagining two adorable little twin girls playing in the leaves in their dresses so if you know anyone that's twins that can wear a size eight 
they will be listed at some point if they're not already. I will list them separately. I'm not going to lot them together, but I'll do a multi-quantity listing because they're the exact same size in the exact same condition. So cute. I'll put some keywords like twin, twin outfits, something like that to hopefully draw some attention to them. They might sell individually and that's obviously fine, but I kind of hope they sell together. Somebody donated all their Zara girl stuff. This is Zara knitwear winter collection in a size five. Oh my goodness. Somebody had good style. Somebody had the most stylish child that I've ever seen. My kid doesn't get to wear this stuff because she will absolutely destroy it. I love this big buffalo check and this is warm. Is this wool? It's got pockets. No. It, yeah, it does have pockets. A little zipper. No, it's 100% polyester, but absolutely adorable. These I was hoping would fit me, but they are last too big. These are BDG jeans. BDG is from Urban Outfitters. I just love the style. It's got camo on the front and like a white light wash on the back. Cutoff style with distressing. I did pay the whole $5 for those. I thought it was worth it. I know we're a little out of season, but I need to replenish some of my shorts because a lot of them sold. These are the High Rise Dre Cheeky 28 Watt, 28 W. I think that just means women's. I don't think that means wide. Guys, we might actually, if we're trucking through, we might be able to make this one video. I'll try to hurry up. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, this was another one. Zara Girls Outerwear. This was $9.98, so I paid $5 for this because it was on sale. Look at this puffer coat. It's got a hood. There's the tag. Not sure where the size is. Size 9. And it's got the double zipper, double layer zipper. So you can do the inner one. I'm doing this backwards. And then you've got the second. And look at these big pockets on the outside. I'm doing an absolutely terrible job of showing you this. Got the slimming kind of things on the back. I need to get these lucid. I got my work cut out for me. All right, let's hurry along. We have a sweater. Who are you? This is from Halogen, which is a Nordstrom brand. But I liked the sweater and it was only $1.50. So I'm gonna grab it. It was a size medium. I liked the chunky knit um, down the side and the cuffs. Cardigans, I have been seeing starting to sell again. Um, they're so easy to throw on. Now I wanna take this more to work because I'm always freezing in my office. We'll see. That might have a life with me for a week or two to wear. So then I'm not so cold all the time. Oh my goodness, this is stunning. This is Sanctuary for $3.50. An outerwear jacket. This is kind of like a raincoat or at least a water resistant jacket with roll tab sleeves. It's like an anorak style. No hood, got pockets in the front, drawstring detailing in the back. This is a size extra large and it is beautiful. It is in absolutely excellent condition. I saw this and I was thrilled and then sad it wasn't my size, but then thrilled I could buy it to resell. This is maybe the first time I've picked up Logo by Lori Goldstein because I think it's got a lot going for it. I, I see it a lot. I don't buy it a lot. I got it for $5 and this is a size 20W, so that's one reason I picked it up. And two, it's this white denim with contrasting um, stitching. Great for layering in the fall. You could throw this over like a maxi dress would be super cute with some like combat Doc Martin boots, something like that. You could wear this over like kind of a more formal dress to casualize up a little bit. Or, I know I just said casualize. I know that's not a word. That's okay, we're all friends here. And it has pockets. The only thing that can make life better in some situations as a female is if you have pockets. Oh, we're getting to the end of our first bag. The other bag is smaller, I promise. Um, oh, I might need to try these on. These are cute. These are Zara size four. 
These were only $1.50 with the sale, and these are just like a white cut-off pair of shorts, although I have a pair of white cut-off shorts that I like. Maybe I'll retire those and try these out for a bit. Um, or maybe I should just sell them and stop stealing all my reselling clothes. So cute, not great for the season, but they will sell eventually. Okay, last bag here. I think this is mostly like intimates and um, activewear with some dresses here on the top real quick. All right, this is pretty great colors for fall. You're seeing a theme with all my fall stuff, so I need to get listed while it's still fall. This is Maeve, um, which is an anthropology brand. It also still has its manufacturer hang tag attached, so it might be new without tags, but this is an extra small. So if I have an occasion to wear this too, maybe I will, but I'm not sure if I'm going to, and I want to get it listed. Um, but it's just a fit and flare, really comfortable dress with a lace exterior overneath like a burnt orange lining. So it peeks through really soft and comfy. Something like that. I'll probably list around 40. This one, I'm not sure what I'm going to list it for, but, um, this was $5 by the way, this was $5 and this is from escape by Joanna Chen. I looked it up. I, I remember thinking that it'll resell well. I just don't recall what I'm going to resell it for. But this will be so pretty for like the holidays or Christmas. It's one of those really fitted bodycon dress. So it looks a little strange when it's not on a human. Um, or, you know, New Year's Eve, something like that. This is made in the USA size 12. Okay, a couple more dresses. Oh, this might, I think I might have already said this once or twice. This might be my favorite thing that I purchased. Look how stunning. It's going to be hard to see. I'll show you the top. Look at this beaded v-neck flapper dress. It goes all the way down. It's like a midi length with this on the bottom. Look at the beading all around. This is like the perfect Great Gatsby flapper dress. If you're doing any sort of like 20s party or just a normal wear this to New Year's Eve. Oh my goodness. It gets better because this is Sue Wong, which I did look up is a good designer brand, and it is 100% silk. Again, I don't remember what I'm going to list this for, but I remember thinking it was worth it, paying the full $5. So pretty, so pretty. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, this is a good one. This was one of the more expensive things I bought. The tag says $19.96. I paid $10 for this, but it is new with tags. It's got its button and its manufacturer tag, which you can see was originally $158. This is Carmen Mark Volvo. Looked it up. Definitely going to be a good reseller for me. This is a size small knit bodycon dress with some embellishments here on the side. Really pretty pattern. I'm hoping as people are going to need these kind of like transitional dresses, like it's so cute, you can layer something over it, but it's knit, so it keeps you a little bit warmer, that people will start shopping. All right, there were like 50, there were a ton of cacique, cacique, is that right? Bras in like plus size, plus sizes. So I picked the one that I liked. This is a 44K wasn't going to get them all because I have one Kissy bra listed and it hasn't sold yet. So I was just a little scared. If this sells well, I will probably wish that I bought like the entire rack. I bought this for $350. But this is super cute and sexy. Um, I would wear this if it was my size, but it is not. I like the black lace. I also picked up another one for $350. This is a Torrid bra, which I have sold Torrid Curve. I've sold this successfully before. This is a size 46 double D. Really great condition. Just a nice nude with some lace around the busts and sides. Let's just get this up on my lap. Um, all right, this one I got for 250 and I don't remember what it was. Oh, this is Notori. I haven't found Notori before. I've heard that it can sell well. Notori size 32 double D, good condition, pretty color. It's like a berry wine color with some lacing around the bust line. And again, on the sides, 
these I want to say the larger bras will probably be between 35 and 50. I'm not sure about the Notori. I need to do some research on that. Okay, this one, this was fun. I would not have bought this if it was not new with tags. I will just say that because I bought underwear at a thrift store. But these are new with tags and these are from a dormy. They are a size extra large and they are some lingerie. Like, mm hmm, lingerie. Here's the top. I can't even figure out how to show you this. Here's, <laughs> here's the top. So this bow, here's the bust, which isn't even a bust. Let's just untie this. Bust, which isn't a bust. Nice, pretty bow. You can tie and make yourself a little pretty package for yourself or someone else. And then you can do the same on these undies. Cheeky, cheeky. <laughs> undies, tie a nice, pretty bow, new with tags. I don't know what I'm listing these at or how I'm even gonna photograph those. I'm hoping to find a model picture because that's gonna be incredibly difficult. But maybe for Christmas, somebody's gonna have a nice night or for Valentine's Day, that'll sell. All right, next, I stumbled on a bunch of Athleta and a couple more activewear and we are all done. This is a long video. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Here is Athleta size medium. This I got for $2, just a nice um, fitted workout tank. It's very stretchy. I like the color. This I'll probably list for like 28, nothing crazy on that. Here is, let me find the other Athleta pieces. All right, this one I got for 350 and it is a Athleta size large. Such a cool color. This would be great for running outside. It is reflective and it's just bright. It's got the like holes for breathability there in the back. Again, probably around that $28 range. And then I found a couple dresses. Again, going out of the wrong season, but that is okay. But these are activewear dresses. This is a size medium. Just a nice plain like coral color. You could wear these for tennis, golf, running, just, just like going to Disneyland. Like these like wicking fabrics are great for running errands, being out on the sun all day. If you're gonna be at like your kids like soccer tournament where they play like 17 games, this would be great to sit there in the stands. And here's another one. I did realize when I got this one home, it does not have the cups. Sometimes I can just replace those cups. So that's probably what I'm going to do. This is Athleta size medium. This one was also, oh, I'm sorry. This one was more expensive. This was $5, but I liked the pattern on it. The same concept, great for workout. These are like a knee length. They're almost a midi length. I'll of course post measurements and all of my items. One more dress, this isn't Athleta though, this is Jerry. I think that's how you say it. I've seen this brand more in like ski, like winter type items. I have a, I have like a girl's puffer coat right now by Jerry listed, but this was a really nice dress. And while I was picking up dresses, I figured they'd be easy to list all in a row because I can use all the same keywords. I love, of the three actually, this is my favorite pattern. It's incredibly soft. All right, a couple more activewear pieces. This is Columbia, which I don't get a ton. Um, Columbia size large, but it is a skirt, which has been doing well. We'll see going out of the season if it still will. And it's the Omni Shield Advanced Repellency. But Omni Shield stuff supposedly in Columbia does better than the normal stuff. It is a skirt, so it's got the little shorts underneath it. I liked the bright color. Almost done. I think we have got like two or three more things. This is Fabletics. I paid five dollars for. It is a super cozy, like athleisure loungewear piece. I'm hoping that for the season, everyone wants to just be comfy in their houses, or you gotta have something. I, I found when you leave the gym because I work out in like little compression shorts and a little tank top, and then I the last two days have left the gym and have been absolutely freezing because I forget that it's fall and it's cold. So I need something like this that I can throw on when I'm done and just go home and change when I get home. I liked the detailing, the like cross knot on the bottom. Last things here, guys. More, this is also Jerry. If you can see that, I'm not sure if you can. Got this for 
And these are just really nice shorts, running shorts, hiking, climbing, active wear, and it's that stretchy wick, wicking fabric to keep you dry and cool. And oh my goodness, the very last thing in this incredibly, I'm looking at this pile of things that I now need to inventory, photograph, and list. Anybody with me? All right, this is, oh, one more Athleta, size large. These are in, it's got a fuzzy on it. It's gonna bother me, there we go. Stretchy athletic pants. They're a jogger style. Joggers have been in for like forever and I don't see them going anywhere. I liked the zip pockets to keep your items safe. I did pay the full $5. The white tag was the one that was not on sale. All right, what do you guys think? If you are still with me, rate my haul down below. A through F, tell me how you think I did for the prices, for the items I found, for the amount of things. Did I get too much? Let me know. I hope this was fun. If you're listing or photographing or something like that, that's what I tend to do is just watch other YouTubers show me their hauls. I just think it's fun. And I have to go get my kiddos from daycare. So I'm going to sign off here. But thank you so much again. I hope that you will subscribe to the channel if you liked this at all. It absolutely helps me out. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Bye.